Hello, welcome to Bragway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Mohammed Nagyub. Once upon a time, Egypt was under the rule of monarchs. When they became a republic, Mohammed Nagyub was the first president serving from the declaration of the republic on June 18, 1953 to November 14, 1954. Mohammed Nagyub was born on February 20, 1901 in Khartoum, Sudan and died on August 28, 1984 in Cairo, Egypt at the ripe old age of 83. His most notable roles are as an Egyptian army officer and statesman who played a very vital role in the overthrow of King Farouk I in 1952 to bring about the first Egyptian revolution. He then served as the first president of Egypt from June 18, 1953 to February 25, 1954 and again from February 27 to November 14, 1954. Nagib's father, Yusuf Nagib, was a notable officer in the Egyptian army and his mother was Zola Ahmed Kuthman, a Sudanese Arab. At the time he was born, Sudan was united with Egypt under the British rule. His family name, El Kashlan, was very popular in Egypt as at the time he was young, as his father and several uncles served in the army. He was also the first of nine children. Coming from a long generation of officers, Nagib also became a good soldier, but he set himself apart from all others during the Egyptian defeat at the hands of Israel in 1948. He caught the eyes of the free officers and even won their respect. When the free officers organized a coup that saw King Farouk out of power, they decided that Mohammed Nagyub would be the best man for the job, someone that would represent the new regime to the public. When election held in 1952, a nationalist military group aided him to win, making him the first president of Egypt. His opposition was a man that had the support of King Farouk, but the free officers had stronger influence. And that was how he became president of the newly formed republic in 1953. Where the free officers had a more radical view, Nagib had a more conservative political outlook. For him, he wanted to take the country to a constitutional government as soon as possible, while the free officers had other ideas. He also objected to the harsh judgments and sentences that were passed on various politicians by the Revolutionary Tribunal. On February 1954, Mohammed Nagib resigned as president of Egypt, but he had to resume the office again after several demands by both the military and civilian groups. When an assassination attempt was made against the leader of the three officers, Nasser, Nagib was vaguely implicated. This was because he was accused of supporting the outlaw Muslim Brotherhood and of harboring dictatorial admissions. After that, there was a struggle for the control of the Egypt and its military between Nasser and Nagib, which Nasser later won eventually, causing Nagib to be forced to resign as the president of Egypt in November 1954. He was then placed under house arrest by President Nasser in a suburb Cairo villa that was owned by Zainab al waki the wife of Mustafa El Nahas, the former Prime Minister of Egypt. The house arrest eased up a bit in 1960 and ended completely in 1972 by President Anwar Sadat. After that, he took several steps back and refused to play any role in Egyptian politics again. He died from liver problem in Cairo, Egypt on August 28, 1984 at the age of 83. He was given a military funeral that was attended by President Mubarak Hosni. After his death, his memoirs were published with the title, I was the President of Egypt. The memoir was reprinted severally and even translated to English under a different title, The Fate of Egypt. A major road in the Al Amra district of Khartoum is named after him, and the station of the Cairo Metro is also named after him. The interim president of Egypt in December 2013 awarded the Order of the Nine the highest state honor in honor of the late president. The award was received by his son, Mohammed Yusuf ibn Mohammed Nagib, even after his death. Mohammed Nagib is still being given awards of honor. Isn't that a sign of a good man? What's your take on Mohamed Nagib as an African politician? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.